Hey, it's Anna. So we are going to talk about dreams because I have been having consistently weird dreams for the past few weeks and then last night I decided to like set the intention for my dreams to actually be clear last night, like for the message to actually be clear so that I could figure out what the hell it was trying to say, you know, because our dreams are our subconscious mind speaking to us like that's when our ego when our humanity when that aspect of our mind is asleep and it's not in the way you know how like you literally don't have control over your dreams kind of thing like you go to sleep and they sort of just play out and of course you can lucid dream like you can choose what you want to dream and all of this kind of thing but for i feel like for most people especially if they're just starting to learn how to lucid dream their dreams tend to just happen on their own and they're not really aware of it and they may remember them when they wake up or they may not you know but for me I've always been able to lucid dream I've always been able to control my dreams to choose which ones I want like if I had a nightmare as a child I would literally visualize myself putting that nightmare into like a room in like the middle of space and it would like go into a door and I would close the door and then it would shrink into nothingness and I'd be like that's it the, the nightmare's gone I don't have to look at it anymore like it doesn't come back because I choose and I control my dreams and that's it like it's gone so I've always been able to choose what I dream about and like I don't know, I just always could lucid dream. So I decided to set the intention for my dreams last night to actually show me what it was trying to say because I was getting fed up with having all of these dreams about past connections, past relationships, and it would be things that hadn't actually happened, but it would be about the person. So it was like, what are you actually trying to tell me? Because each night it's a different person. So like, why do you keep bringing up all of these people? And then my dream last night was actually about my brother, which I found kind of weird. But I realized because it's symbols, like your dreams can't talk to you in words. It can only show you images. It can show you symbols. And then you have to decode it based upon what you feel and like you can never decode it wrong because it's literally your own mind telling you things you know so whatever you feel it is is what it is you know because even if you could look at it a little bit deeper and you're not looking at it deeper right now like that surface level that you're seeing it at is still what you need to see you know like it can only ever be felt and interpreted by you in the way that you need to know about it you know so you can never ever do it wrong even when you then later on may be able to interpret it on a deeper level it still doesn't make the surface level one wrong you know like it's all right it's whatever you feel because it's your dream and it's your mind and it's trying to speak to you so you can only really relate it to what you are experiencing and what you've been feeling in your life you know like throughout your whole lifetime so yeah i had this weird dream last night about my brother and it was really random like he was trying to um leave the country and like join this weird type gang type thing like something dangerous but also in a studio like a music studio he wanted to go and hang out with these people in a music studio which like i know this isn't about him because he's not making music that's obviously something that i do and he's never been involved with like dangerous people or like weird situations like that so i know that it's not talking about him and this is just me trying to like decode it and i'm trying to show you how you can decode your own based upon your own experiences so like i know that that's not about him because he's not ever done anything like that you know and it's revealing something about me like the recurring dreams that i was having or about past connections in my own life. So I know that whatever it's trying to show me now, like I wanted it to make it clear. So, and that's the intention that I set for my dream last night. So I know that it's about me and something that I'm experiencing, you know? So for him to be doing that, and then I, in the dream, like I could see myself, I was trying to literally like convince him not to go but I was convincing him in such a weird way so I would be like well if you go to this other country how are you going to get home like how do you know that you're going to be able to get home how do you know that they're going to let you leave 
how do you know that you're going to be able to get home if you have no money you know and i was asking all of these like simple straightforward realistic almost questions about something that was really serious you know like that's how it felt to me in the dream i remember how it felt and it is important to pay attention to how you actually feel in the dream not just what's happening so i felt like okay he's not going to listen to me if i just yell at him so let me ask him these questions that are going to make him think realistically about the situation you know so i realize now that i've come out of it that like because this is related to all of the other dreams that I've been having. So I realized that it's actually my own self battling myself. So it's like one aspect of me is, is like saying, well, this is the wrong thing to do. And one aspect of me is saying, this is what I want to do. This is the right thing to do, even though it's gonna put me in a dangerous situation. And even though it's clearly not the fucking right thing to, to do, you know? And I realized that in my relationships, I would always go against my intuition, like always. <laughs> This is one of the karmic cycles and one of the lessons that I really have had to face over the past few years is like, you know when something is not right for you. You know when a connection feels off or when it feels like it's not something that you even want to get into in the first place or when you're already in it and it's been amazing but then it reaches that point where it's no longer serving you and then you still choose to stay. All of these things have been my wonderful lessons and habits over well since I first had my first ever relationship you know so I realized that what it's trying to tell me now is like now that you've ended all of these relationships and you're single and you're like focusing on your purpose and you know like you're focusing on I'm literally talking to myself right now what the fuck but anyway I'm focusing on all of my like my purpose and my soul mission and career and all of these things so i realize it's bringing it up as a clearing like the message is literally this is is showing me the pattern of what i would always do in all of these connections so that's why all of these connections are coming up and they haven't just come up in dreams they've come up in the physical as well you know like but weird things like social media and stuff where their name would appear and all of this kind of thing so all of these different people have been coming up in the physical and in my dreams and then i ask it to show me what it's actually trying to tell me rather than keep showing me these stupid dreams of all these different people and i don't understand why so i ask it to actually reveal to me what the hell it means and i realize now that it's like it's showing me the pattern and the karmic cycle of what i would do with all of these connections and it's like girl are you ready now like are you ready to actually let go of this old cycle so when the new thing comes in in the future like whenever that's supposed to happen are you going to repeat this cycle and ignore your intuition you know and this is what our dreams do to us they are showing us like our subconscious is constantly speaking to you and it speaks to you in the physical as well so like like we call it signs or synchronicities but like things will happen the person may come up in some weird type of form like it could be their name appears it could be anything you know but it's important that you pay attention and when you pay attention you start to notice the synchronicities you start to notice the patterns that happen and then you can really start to understand why so if i wasn't aware of my patterns if i wasn't aware that i always ignore my intuition i would have no clue how to decode this dream that i just had last night about my brother like i wouldn't know how the fuck to decode that because it's you know you could look at that and be like well maybe he does want to go join a gang and he's just not telling you <laughs> you know like maybe you don't actually know about what he's really trying to do or something like that you could decode it in so many ways but it's about what like what you feel what feels right for you you know based upon what you know about yourself so this is why it's like really key to get to know yourself and understand your mind and your habits you know because your mind does create your physical habit habits it creates the things that you go out and do in the world you know so yeah i'm just realizing that like our masculine and feminine energies do not like to battle each other and oftentimes we ignore them you know 
so when I say masculine and feminine, I'm talking about like your intuition and then your logical thought. You know, so like in that scenar scenario, the um, my brother was like the masculine energy of like, no, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I want to do. I'm like, it's very logical. It's like just, I mean, it's literally ego and your hum human aspect, like your humanity of your personality. It's just trying to go and do something that it knows is fucking toxic. And then you've got the feminine side, which was my side of like, no this is the wrong thing let's think about this properly and it's like that tugging feeling that you get where you know that you shouldn't do something but then you end up doing it anyway you know so yeah <laughs> it's just trying to speak to you because you have the choice you know like your subconscious is it's guiding you and it's telling you about things because it can see the past, present and future these things are they're only hidden to your mind like your conscious mind while you're awake in this reality because of the fact that you're restricted by the five senses and the, the physical body but your subconscious knows because it's not restricted by those things it knows what you're going to do it knows the infinite possibilities that exist you know so it knows which timelines you could go to and it's asking you it's saying this is what's going on inside your mind like on a deeper level this is what's happening this is the battle that's been causing all of these circumstances that you're experiencing like this is the root cause of these cycles that you've been in where you ignore your intuition you know it's literally showing it to you and it's just a case of decoding it to be able to understand because it can't talk to you in words it has to play out images for you you know so once you realize that it's actually talking to you because it's your choice you get to decide which timeline you go to which possibility you go to you know so it's asking me it's saying like this is the pattern so what are you going to do now and now I can consciously, because I'm aware of it, I can consciously choose. So when the next situation comes up or the next relationship or whatever it is, even like it doesn't have to be romantic connections. It can be any aspect of your life. So an opportunity could come up, you know, because like when you ignore your intuition in one aspect, you most likely ignore it in all aspects of your life. So when these things come up, I can now consciously be like okay what what feels right what feels more in alignment with my truth and my heart to know which decision to make and which direction to go in you know so yeah it kind of reveals the pattern and then you get to consciously choose whether you want to stay in that down pattern or whether you want to shift it and do something different you know so it's all just these wonderful lessons but it can't happen without your permission nothing that you do n no experience that you have and no dream that you have can happen without your permission because it's all for you and it's all by you like it's literally your subconscious mind showing you creating it you know like it's all it's all your choice <laughs> It's all, and that is your power. Like that literally is your power. It's the fact that you have the choice and then you can choose what you want to do within your life, you know? So yeah, I hope this made sense. I just thought I would come on here and share it because I don't know. I feel like it's beneficial to me as well to document my process and dreams. So then I can look back on it in a few months and be like, oh, like this is where it started. This is where I started to uncover that type of pattern and this kind of thing you know i just think it's helpful so yeah i hope it helped you too and i will see you in the next video don't forget to check out the description box below for all links to my music social media also my whatsapp whatsapp my phone number is in the description box so you can whatsapp me or you can text me just trying to build a community you know of people that are on this path because it can be so isolating and so like it brings up so many damn emotions so if we can all connect you know and support each other then that's amazing and i also have a community um private instagram in the description box as well if you want to be a part of that where we're like joining together to support each other too so yeah all links will be down below and more videos are obviously coming soon and i will see you then bye love always Pull it down.